Walt thought, this can be a concert feature that never ends. This is a continuing idea. And we can take out a segment, and we can put in a new segment, and we can release it again, or we can keep it in continual release, and you will every year go to see Fantasia, and it will always be new. And Walt was developing a lot of new segments. Claire de Lune was a piece that was scheduled to be in the original Fantasia. It was eventually cut out and used in a package film later on with different music. It's an incredibly extended use of the multiplane camera, and some of the scenes are just almost endurance contests for the craftspeople who worked on them, the cameramen and, the, and the, even the ink and paint uh, uh, women who had to repair the cells when they were under the cameras and the lights for so long. Right at the Valkyries would have been a marvelous piece to see, I think, the majesty of what Kai Nielsen we had created and the, the Valkyrie bringing the dead soldiers' souls up to Valhalla. But at the time it was being considered, which was 1941, America hadn't gotten into the war yet, but the war was certainly raging in, uh, in Europe, and so it was perhaps considered too Germanic a piece to be uh, inserted in any future Fantasia. Swan of Tuonela is a lovely, moody, slow piece by Sibelius. It's a very contemplative piece, uh, the swan bringing the souls through to heaven. Walt wanted to do it very simply. He kept saying, don't animate the swan, do the ripples and things around it, just let it float through. So it would have had a different kind of feel to it, not character animation per se, but a beautiful kind of serene animation. Although Walt wanted to continue to do new things in the revised edition of Fantasia, um, he was uh, tempted to repeat some characters who proved to be very popular in the original version. One was Peter Pegasus, the little flying horse from the Pastoral. He's back in the invitation to the dance. Adventures in the Perambulator is uh, a good example of the work of Sylvia Moberly Holland. Uh, she was a, a British woman who uh, later moved to Canada with her husband, where she, I believe she was one of the first women architects, and she was delirious with joy when she got onto Fantasia because she was also a musician. Her illustrations are, are quite imaginative and wonderful. It's a, it's a beautiful storyboard for that particular sequence. I always say what happened was really the Second World War. When it cut off the foreign market, you emasculated it. You didn't have the Fantasia idea anymore. Art was being produced, and then when the bottom fell out of the whole thing, they couldn't be finished.